Hi, welcome back. The next episode on uh, building your infrastructure the easy way with bicep files. And uh, let me go to the screen. Uh, this is our uh, fantastic design again. And uh, we created the VNet, the subnets, network security groups. And we attach them to the subnets as well. So we can do uh, filtering accordingly, like the firewalling and such. And uh, the next step is creating the storage account. Let's let's do that. And we want to have the firewall enabled on the, st on the storage account that it only accepts basically my my computer at home, right? It's the only one that can access the key vault and the storage account. And I will make it internally available as well at some point. But for now, this is where we focus on. And uh, we're going to deploy a storage account with the firewall enabled. Let's see how we do that from scratch. Create a new file. Uh, storage dot biceps quite applicable and uh, you always start with the with the resource let's close the left side and perhaps I'm not sure if this is too big but let's see uh, resource uh, store I call it store for now store ACC storage account uh, and it is of type storage accounts Oh, we need to provide a name, so let's call it, uh, uh, I don't know, this is my environment. And I call it dev st for storage. Location, you already saw this a couple of times. The location, school. And now let's see, uh, I think standard local, it's fine for me. Kind will be storage v2, storage, and it seems that this is en enough to spin up uh, a storage account. You can, of course, go very advanced immediately at the beginning. You know, some people say, yeah, we want to do the firewall and I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to do this. And, and, and with the bicep, that's not really needed. You can deploy like very small set and then build upon that. And it makes it easier as well, because if you extend or change like one thing, you can troubleshoot that as well a little bit easier when it fails. But if you make like a zillion changes, you create a huge file, it doesn't work. It's often very hard to find out uh, and how to troubleshoot that. So that's a tip from my side. Um, let's clear the screen here uh, like this. And uh, the last time we were deploying the VNet, this time we're going to deploy the storage. Let's run this and see if we actually get a storage account in our Azure Resource Group here. So currently, as you can see, we don't have a storage account. Oh, I think something like this is the best I can do. And it succeeded. So we have a storage account now. Let's refresh. And we have a storage account here. So that's that's okay. Uh, I'll show you another trick in a second, by the way, uh, how you can provide these kinds of value as input, right? Because this is now very static, this storage file, right? Because I can only deploy this, this storage account with that name and I can't do any other. So we'll make it a little bit more dynamic later in the video. So we go more advanced as we go. Um, so bear with me. Properties. I think we have some properties because we wanted to set the firewall as well, right? We agreed on that. So we have a storage account now. Let's set some stuff. Access tier. I don't know what we can set here, honestly. So let's first find out. Network ACLs. That looks quite okay. Required property. Default action. Okay. Default action will be deny, of course, because if you allow, then everything is allowed. I will show that, by the way. If you go to the storage account and we go to networking, then you now you can see enabled from all networks. That basically means this storage account is accessible from all over the world, right? You still need to have credentials, of course, but network technically speaking, you can access it from a from a, from a layer three perspective, so to speak. So uh, we're going to address that by setting default action to deny. Now let's see what we can do more. Uh, we can set IP rules. That looks quite good. And let's see what we can 
can set for IP rules because on has required properties, just a value. So I, I think something like this. I'm not providing my uh, my own I own IP address here, my public IP address. I think that's not needed. But uh, if I provide it here, of course, then uh, that will be set on the interface. I think at least. And um, yeah, I think this is the requirement already. If we go back to the drawing, we have a storage account. We want the firewall enabled that only this system, and we pretend this now has uh, IP address 1.1.1.1. We pretend that it can access that uh, storage account. So, and the fun thing is when I actually deploy this, uh, I shut myself out of that storage account because I think at least, you know, I'm not in this IP range. Uh, I made an error, so let's see how to fix that network ACL value. Honestly, not sure, but perhaps we're missing something here. Bypass uh, none. Well, let's see if that works. Run the deployment again. Okay, yeah, the problem was in the syntax. Basically, uh, I had a syntax like this, slash 32, and that is not supported on the storage account, but I think it's supported on the key fault, so that's interesting. I'm not sure, by the way, uh, but let's, I re will remove that. And I also specified the action of allow. And uh, this could be still denied, by the way. Keep that on deny. Let's rerun our deployment again. And it succeeded. So we go to our storage account. And I'll refresh this first. Check the storage account. Networking. Enabled from selected networks and IP addresses. As you can see now, 1.1.1 has been added as an IP address. So let's check our fantastic drawing here. And see if we miss still anything on the storage account. Yeah, we could try to go back to the to the bicep file and see if we find some more interesting stuff inside of the properties. We already did network ACLs. Let's see what we have more. Perhaps access tier. What is that? You have cool, hot, and premium. I think cool is fine for my example, I guess. Uh, let's see what we have more properties. Allow blob public access. Let's not do that. We set that to false. Uh, allow scope, custom domain, DNS, encryption even. You can even set encryption here if you have a key, I guess. Key. Uh, let's see. TLS version, minimum TLS version. I want to set that. And we set that to TLS. 1.2. Let's run the, run the template once more. It succeeded. Let's go to Azure. So you see now TLS and it's on hot. Let's change it here to TLS 1.1 and change this to cool for now. I'll save it. Successfully updated. So now it's on cool and on version uh, 1.1.1. Okay, now we modified that. And if you now refresh this, it's on TLS 1.2. And the access tier is back on uh, hot here, as we specified here in the file, the bicep file. And um, let me check our fantastic drawing again, because I think we're done for this video. Um, my drawing is gone as well, so we're done. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video when we deploy the key vault.